guys' stuff, and I know I said this Saturday would be my reaction to the combined Heart of the Crystal Gems Stephen Bomb, but I can't. We are gathered here today for a wedding. What a beautiful wedding that evolved into something so amazing that I can't because we are here for the wedding, but we're also here for fighting, so I'm ready, bitches! Oh my goodness. The Sapphire and Ruby wedding. Oh my god, when I saw Sapphire was in a suit, when I saw Sapphire was in a suit and not a dress, I was freaking out. And then when we saw Ruby in the dress, they totally role reversaled. Oh my god, it was so cute. <laughs> not just that, Garnet's new outfit is so good. It kind of reminds me of Sardonyx in a way. And it makes me wonder what Sardonyx will be like with this new outfit change, what she'll look like. Oh, the possibilities. Oh, it was just so cute. And it was adorable. Garnet dancing with herself. I loved the moment with Mayor Dewey. Well, should I say Mr. Dewey? And Jamie just kind of being down in the depths and then being at the same table and like going to cry, like cry dancing together. Like, that was fantastic. <laughs> as beautiful as the wedding and the opening song, I wasn't expecting that. It was really good. As beautiful as that was, we were all here for something else that we knew was building this entire time. First of all, how did no one see the giant hands in the clouds? I mean, I get it, we have this beautiful ceremony going on. We have two colorful women fusing together into one combination of their love, but... How does no one notice the giant arms and hands in the skies? Like, especially Ronaldo, why is it, why, like, what? <laughs> And just them going over, you thought they would like go for the temple first. No, first they go straight for the cluster. Oh, and the cluster, how the cluster looks just like this muscly arm. That was so freaking cool. Not just that, the fact that they arm wrestled with Yellow Diamond's ship. That was everything. <laughs> I still can't honestly believe that the Crystal Gems fought Blue Diamond and technically won that part of the battle. That was insane. They didn't. No one was really fused. We had Garnet, of course, but Garnet is our always fusion, especially since she is now married. So, the fact that we had the what the fusion of Pearl, Amethyst, and Garnet, but it got defused because of Blue's sadness wave, and they all fought her as themselves without fusing with anyone. That was the most badass thing about this. Even Peridot joined in. And, oh my god, Lapis returning! <gasps> Lapis was back! The fact that Lapis actually came back and actually threw the barn at her diamond. Not just any diamond, her diamond specifically. Yes, girl, yes, I'm so happy. Moving on through that, when Yellow Diamond came, changed the whole game. They were still fighting. No one really fused again, which even though we didn't really get to see much of the fight, and that's kind of one of my biggest complaints, we didn't get to see much of the yellow fight them fighting yellow and blue combined i wish we had seen more of that but what we got instead was still really cool um no one really fused for that battle either and man even connie was holding her own damn the steven reveal was so cool i like how he could talk to everyone as he passed through them or if he touched their form that was really interesting and really cool playing off his i guess maybe somehow aligning with Pink Diamond's kind of powers. Because Blue... No, they weren't exactly in my escape when they were doing it, but Blue and Yellow were talking to each other, and then when they realized Steven was there, they could both feel him at the same time. Maybe that's a diamond power? I don't know. It's weird, strange, but I really want to learn more. How they ended up, oh my god. That reveal, though, how he made the pink, like, wash over their yellow and blue waves. And just... Oh my god, I'm just freaking out, man. Just like, I literally just saw the episode, and I'm freaking out. You don't realize how many times I replayed that last scene. It's you, pink, and just you had uh, everyone's faces that we pan up, and there's the diamonds up there just looking like, what? And Steven showing off the gem, and they realized that he was pink, and that's how they closed the episode. I... I need more Rebecca Sugar, you can't just leave me like this. I feel like a crack addict who's in desperate need of a fix, even though I just took five shots in a row. Oh my gosh, that there's so much to unpack here. There's so much to just talk about. I'm just reacting right now because I'm still in a state of shock. I think Wednesday is going to be the day that I really talk about 
everything in depth and kind of talk about the little Easter eggs and things and just my thoughts on this on the Steven Bob in general. But oh my god, everything about this was. Oh, this was probably my favorite in the bomb so far, just because we got Garnet back. We got this beautiful wedding where no one said the groom's bride was a whore, and ah, uh, it was just absolutely beautiful. And then we had the diamonds and them fighting the diamonds. And Peridot got poofed, which means we might finally be getting a star on her uniform. Please, Rebecca Sugar, please. I have that theory, and I'm, I'm halfway glad she got poofed. I'm very ecstatic that she didn't get shattered. I'm glad she got poofed, because I'm hoping this is finally her costume change-up reveal that she is going to have a star on her uniform or something, because she was poofed in that cute little dress for the wedding. That was such a cute outfit for Perry. I love it. I'm also really curious to see how Lapis will come back because Lapis hasn't changed her diamond um, outfit either. She did say that she now sides with Crystal Gem. She, if I'm going to be punished as a Crystal Gem, I might as well be as par a part of them. So she might come back with a star on her, on her outfit. That would be really cool. I'd be interested to see how her design changes in accordance to that. This was just so good, you guys. I can't, I can't even. This, the ending is what is like such a. A moment and they closed it and now when's the next time we're getting new Steam Universe episodes? Who freaking knows man? Oh, oh, I, this was so good. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite part of this whole half an hour special was because I don't even know if I can choose a favorite part. There's so many good moments. It might have to be that closing scene because I've rewatched it so many times. Just the way their faces change like it can't be her his aura, and they both reached out their hands. That's my favorite part. I'm calling it. Oh my god, it was so good. Like I said, let me know your favorite parts down in the comments below. And if you're still around here, hello. I talk about stuff a lot. <laughs> like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're interested in sticking around and watching more of my stuff, because I make videos at least three times a week, this week has been a bit hectic with more, you can hit my face right here or the button down there and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays usually. The last video I made, thank god it was debunked, was me talking about if Bismuth will survive and whether she might get the Dobby effect, if you want to see more, I'll just link right there. And then the other time I made a full length video around Steven Universe was my reaction to a single pale rose where we found out about pink, and check that out right here. That's all I got for you guys today, I hope you have a lovely day, slash night, and I'll see you later.